Welcome to Future Fum Flash. Today, we're thrilled to bring you the latest leaks and rumors about the eagerly awaited Samsung Galaxy S25 series, slated for release in January. This upcoming series promises groundbreaking advancements, particularly in its camera technology. Let's dive into the exciting details. Anticipating the Galaxy S25 launch, Samsung is preparing to unveil the Galaxy S25 series this January, and the buzz is palpable. Thanks to leaks and rumors, we have a glimpse of what to expect, especially regarding the camera specifications. Known for setting new standards in smartphone photography, Samsung continues to innovate with the Galaxy S25 series. In-depth camera specs. At the forefront of the series is the Galaxy S25 Ultra, which features remarkable camera technology. 200 MP main sensor. This is likely to incorporate Samsung's new ISO CELRHP2 sensor, which promises exceptional image quality and superior performance in low light conditions. 50 MP ultra wide sensor. Utilizing a 1 half 76 inch JN1 sensor, this camera offers high resolution capabilities for expansive shots. Dual 50 MP telephoto sensors. Both sensors provide 3x optical zoom and optical image stabilization, OIS, with one featuring a larger 1 3rd inch ISO CELL sensor to enhance 8K video capture. Unmatched performance with Snapdragon 8 Gen 4. The entire Galaxy S25 series will be powered by Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 SoC. C. This cutting-edge processor is expected to deliver significant performance improvements across the lineup. While this might lead to a higher price point, the boost in speed and efficiency will be well worth it. Enhanced Video Capabilities The Galaxy S25 Ultra is set to stand out in video recording. Thanks to electronic image stabilization, EIS support at all resolutions and frame rates, this feature ensures smooth, high-quality video capture, making it ideal for both casual and professional videographers. Base Model Camera Enhancements The base model of the Galaxy S25 will retain a 50MP main camera consistent with its predecessors, the S22, S23, and S24. The front camera will also remain at 12MP. Despite the unchanged megapixel count, we can expect significant improvements in the ultra-wide and telephoto lenses, enhancing overall photo quality. On firm features, despite earlier speculation about a three-camera setup, it's now confirmed that the Galaxy S25 will feature four sensors. The S25 Ultra's advanced quad camera system includes 200 MP main camera for incredibly detailed and vibrant photos. 50 MP sensor with 5x optical zoom, perfect for capturing distant subjects with clarity. 50 MP ultra wide angle sensor, ideal for expansive landscape shots and group photos. 50 MP telephoto sensor with 3x optical zoom, offering versatile zoom capabilities for various shooting scenarios. A look back and moving forward, when Samsung launched the Galaxy S22. It received some backlash for reducing the battery capacity to 3700 ma, a downgrade from the 4000 ma in the S20 and S21. Listening to customer feedback, Samsung increased the battery to 3900 ma in the Galaxy S23 and restored it to 4000 ma in the S24. Now, let's look ahead to what the Galaxy S25 has to offer. Battery and Display Improvements the Galaxy S25 is expected to keep the 4000 mAh battery, ensuring reliable performance that users have come to expect. Additionally, rumors suggest a slightly larger 6.36-inch display, enhancing the viewing experience. Mark your calendars! Samsung is set to launch the Galaxy S25 series in January 2025. But before that, don't miss the Galaxy Unpacked event on July 10 where Samsung will unveil the Galaxy Z Fold 6, Flip 6, and the debut of the Galaxy Ring. The power of Exynos 2500 
One of the most exciting updates is the potential use of Samsung's new Exynos 2500 chipset, promising better performance and efficiency over its predecessor, the Exynos 2400. However, Samsung faces production challenges with this new chip, Qualcomm, to the rescue. If production issues persist, Samsung might turn to Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 processor for the Galaxy S25. Samsung has used Snapdragon chips before, like the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 and the Galaxy S24 series for regions such as the US, Canada, and China. A history of performance. While Snapdragon chips are often praised for their power, the performance difference between Snapdragon and Exynos chips in everyday use is usually minimal. By using its own Exynos chips, Samsung can save costs and have greater control over hardware design. Expected release date. Following their usual schedule, we can anticipate the release of the Galaxy S25 in January 2025. This will be the time to see if Samsung can balance the use of Exynos and Snapdragon chips in their lineup. Camera Specifications Let's dive into the camera details. The Galaxy S25 is rumored to maintain its impressive 200MP main sensor, possibly incorporating Samsung's new ISO CELLHP2 sensor for superior image quality and low-light performance. The Galaxy S25 Ultra is expected to feature a new 50MP ultrawide sensor with a 1 half 76-inch JN1 sensor for enhanced resolution, two 50MP telephoto sensors with 3x optical zoom and optical image stabilization OIS, for improved zoom capabilities, a larger 1 3rd-inch ISO CELL sensor on the 50MP telephoto lens, supporting up to 8K video capture. Performance and hardware. Under the hood, the entire Galaxy S25 lineup is anticipated to be powered by Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 Sol C. This powerful processor may come with a slight price increase, but offers enhanced performance that makes it worth the cost. The Galaxy S25 Ultra is also expected to excel in video recording featuring electronic image stabilization EIS, at all resolutions and frame rates. This could mean unprecedented high-resolution video capture capabilities. Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra Preview Shifting gears, let's talk about Samsung's next-generation tablet, the Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra. Leaks from OnLeaks and Android headlines have given us a sneak peek into its design and features. The design remains similar to its predecessor, the Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra, with a few refinements. The Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra measures 326.4 x 208.6 x 5.45 mm, making it slightly thinner than the S9 Ultra. While this consistency in design might appeal to users familiar with the previous model, some may see it as a lack of innovation. Outro. That's all for today's update on the Galaxy S25 series and the Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update from future phone flash. Let us know in the comments which feature you're most excited about. Stay tuned for more tech news and reviews. Thanks for watching.